Welcome back to Oracle of Ages Cursed, everybody. I'm Colorful Artie, and today we're beating the Crown Dungeon. So when we last left off, we explored pretty much the entire beginning of the dungeon, and we got a ton of keys, as well as the Cane of Samaria. So now we're going to put those keys and cane to use. I don't really know why they put those diamonds right in front of this chest. It doesn't really do a whole lot, and we finally got the compass. And, oh look, all the chests now are in the basement. The basement gets complicated now. Hi, Dark Nut. Yeah, and if you think the enemies are tough now, remember, I've got the Noble Sword, which is much more powerful than the Wooden Sword. Take that. So we can go up this way. Oh, sweet, Beemos can't hit me. What the heck?! My trick didn't work! Well, it's about time the game started getting really hard. At this point, Kingdom Hearts is giving me more trouble than this game, which is kind of ridiculous. Granted, I am playing on expert mode, but still. That was just stupid. Fun fact, the crazy horizontal passageways are built in just so it can be like, oh yeah, you go down the stairs in this part of the map and show up in a completely different part of the map on, like, a different floor. Whereas if you get just get stairs like that, you go directly to the room right above it. Nice touch, that. Alright. <laughs> Alright, I've gotta figure out if there's a way to kill Beemos. Let's try bombs. Bombs are a safe bet. No, but they are hurting the Dark Nuts, so... Bombs away. Sweet. Bombs, they're not just for blowing up walls. Ow. Especially in a cursed playthrough. Save me, Pots. Of course. It's always something. Hi. Thank you, Sword Beams. Also, if you want, you can drop back to the beginning of the dungeon from there, but it's really not worth it. Oh, are you kidding me? And we cannot actually hit the switch from here. However, we can't open the key block, of course. Time to shoot sword beams. Crown Dungeon, why is your music so bad? Maybe it's just me who feels that way. So now what we can do is we can change the blocks up. These are key to get for here. Jump on top of the blocks, and then go down here. 
and escape to the basement. Hope you got the extra key. Woo, 50 rupees. How lucky. Now let's get out of here before Mace Man kills us. Actually, I just realized we have sword beams. So now we've got the edge on Mace Man. Hehe. <laughs> Okay, this part's gonna be annoying. Phew. And I believe, yep. <laughs> We're gonna shoot him, uh, <laughs> Mystery Seed. Bring all to me. So it's another one of these block puzzles where pushing the blocks makes all of them obey you. So we'll just use the Cane of Samaria to help us out. Diddly do. So this is a unique, uh, puzzle, kind of. It's kind of combining two of the ones we saw earlier, which is pretty cool. Ah, shoot, no. trick there. And... Yay! And we get the boss key! Hey, I wonder what would happen if you, cur if you had the block right on that spot when the chest was supposed to appear. Would it take over the block? These are the fiends that I ask myself. And I just realized it will be much faster if we save and quit. And then just warp back to the beginning of the dungeon so we can warp to the halfway point of the dungeon. Yes, I've had 16 game overs. Not my proudest work. Now please... okay. So the boss of this dungeon is rather tricky, especially if you don't know what the heck to do. It's time for our little game. I break apart. If you can force me back together and blow me away, it ends. But before you do, I shall take a bit of your soul. Now begin. This is Smog. He's a very interesting boss. He's kind of a puzzle-based boss, so basically you have to make his little bit, uh, mini clouds merge together. Ow. And wow, okay! I didn't realize he would be able to kill me that easily. Let's try this again. Smog is really weird! There we go! So no, that is not the end. He's got multiple different forms. And he shoots stuff at you, which is not cool. So when we get to this point, this is where things get very odd. So now we just kind of have to wait. And avoid their shots. Oh, 
Also, if you ever, like, screw up, there's a switch in the upper left corner that you can press and it'll reset everything. So you can see this is just a very odd boss. It's like a puzzle boss. Ow. Also, the bigger the smog, the uh, slower it moves. Do, 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 do. This is hectic! Very, very hectic! How did I not die? How did I not die? How did I not die? Even I don't understand why I didn't die right there. Oh my gosh! Still not the end. All right, there we go. <laughs> All right. As long as I don't get hit here. Yes! Woo! That is a tough fight, even in a, a non-cursed playthrough. And we get the sacred soil and essence of time. All that lies sleeping in the, bo in the bosom of the earth will know the nourishing warmth of the sacred soil. Ha <laughs> ha! That was a really good fight, if I do say so myself. Hardy, I still hear an essence echoing near Rolling Ridge. Huh? I think someone's come. Huh? I was digging a new tunnel and I ended up here. Hey, what are you doing here? Don't you know, games are the new fad on Rolling Ridge. You should check them out too. And since we've hardly done... Or since we still have a bit of time, I think we will... Yeah! Get full HP and explore this new area. So this is the new tunnel he just dug. There are already bats in it, apparently. A lot of them. So this next area is kind of interesting as well. With the new tunnel complete, we've got new dwellings. Some Gorons have even opened new shops. You should check it out. So this is kind of the minigame area of... Like, the game, I guess you could say. Any old Goron can't forge the great two-handed big Goron sword. They say there's a Goron the size of a mountain in Holodrum. Is it true? You bet it is. I gave him soup to cure his cold. Tell the secret to that mountain-sized big Goron. That? Okay. Okay. Please tell him. I'll do that at the end of this playthrough. So, power bracelet reveals there's a time portal there. We're not going to use it just yet. These stairs go to the base of Rolling Ridge. Yeah, sure. Hey, Mini Moldorm. Gorons have always loved games, and they always will. You gotta save time to have fun. In places east of here, the big Goron or the Goron dance is all the rage. If you can't dance well, you won't make friends. Well, that seems weird. All right, it's definitely maple time. And now that we've got Pegasus seeds, that'll give us an edge. Rain, mine. We meet again. You know the drill. Fastest one wins. Ready, go. Well, this is not fair. I can't reach most of this stuff. But I got the important one. 
You little I'll remember this! Do -do -do -do. And there's like likes everywhere. It like likes, like lights, and these fiends, weavers. Those little fiends that pop out of the ground are levers. Well, that's weird. There's just a little tree right here. So if we go in there, this is an old man's house, but if you talk to him, he'll make you pay. Literally. Dry falls this way. Well, this looks interesting. This is actually the entrance to the sixth dungeon. The legend of the mermaid has been handed down from past to present. Also, do not enter that water. You will, even with the flippers, you will take damage. And there's another time portal there. We will definitely make use of that later. Fairy found in there if you want. Hey! Hi, Artie! The Goron dance is all the rage in these mountains, but the Subrosian dance is way cooler. These Gorons have a ways to go. I can see your destiny! Goron spirits, show me all! Amazing! I see you dancing feverishly. He'll basically give you hints on what to do in order to get to the dungeon. The graceful Goron dances in the back. He's so cool. Welcome! I am the fifth generation of graceful dancers. This is my dance hall. One must know our dance if he is to be called a Goron. If you dance well, I'll give you a symbol of brotherhood. One try costs ten rupees. Shall we dance? Yeah, sure. Shall I explain the dance? Yeah, sure, for our viewers. Pay attention to my lesson. You'll hear the rhythm as the dance begins. You must repeat that rhythm. There are two types. Press B to move this set to the sound. Press A to hold the pose when you hear this sound. There are eight rounds in all. Dance well in six rounds to get a prize. If you make three mistakes, you're out. To try is to learn. Got it? Yep. We don't care how you dance, as long as you have rhythm. You do care how I dance. Am I a good dancer? This is kind of a hard minigame if you're not good at rhythm. One, two, one, two, three. That was a hard one. These are hard ones. These are hard dances, to begin with. Yeah, that's what it's normally like. Oops. Wrong move! Concentrate. Okay, next round. Why did you finish with that one? He's finishing with the easy ones. You're pretty good! This makes you a brother to the Gorons! As I promised, here you go! And we get the brother emblem! Now you are a Goron too! All Gorons will call you friend! May we always dance together! Well, that seems kinda weird. Dance Hall, Rowing Ridge Summit. For generations, my ancestors have sat here guarding the peace on Rolling Ridge. Huh? That's a brother emblem! You understand the passion of a Goron's heart! You may pass. I know it's abrupt, but can you help me, brother? For generations, my ancestors have sat here guarding the peace on Rolling Ridge. I can't leave, but I'm so hungry I could starve. Can you give me some food? If I get some, yeah, sure. Hey, brother, are you dancing well today, too? The dan- the Goron dance is lame, dude. Come on. Then again, I just myself don't like dancing all that much. And we get ten bombs. We did not need that. We Gorons have many mystical items. If you get any, take good care of them. 
Korans have always taken care of their brothers, and they always will. Well, that's good to hear. So there's a big bang game up there, and target cards is down. Wanted energy drink, big bang owner. Well, we don't have an energy drink for him. There's so many caves! I just want to get outside and save and quit, because we are at the 21 minute mark now. Alright, now we can save and quit here. Thanks for watching, I'm Colorful Artie. If you tune in for the next episode, I believe we will reach the 6th dungeon. Have a great day, and God bless.